morning. I promised myself today that I was gonna record a vlog and that Saturday was gonna be uploaded no matter what. So no matter what, that's what we're doing today. Headed to Frisco, meeting up with Jay. We have a couple of meetings and then we should be good to go. And then we should be good to go. I know I got too dark when I was over there, I apologize. Jay just drove away from me. He's waiting for me now. This is, uh, I'm in Frisco Square today. I'm gonna get some grub. All right. Oh shit, I thought it was in reverse, right? No, you were about to go forward. What's up, what's through. up? Look at you. <laughs> yeah, Raj. What, what are you, you're about to take headshots or something? Yeah, well you, uh, said it looked like Hitler last time, so I had to make sure that was It's big. not my fault that you looked like Hitler. I mean, I, I would understand if you were mad at me because you, it was my fault, but it wasn't. I'm gonna put my seatbelt on, and then we're gonna get some breakfast tacos at Rudy's. Apparently, they are the bomb tacos. I don't know about breakfast tacos because traditionally, for me, breakfast tacos is like eggs, uh, some sort of meat, and then jalapenos with beans in there. And mm, I just get hungry just thinking about it. But we're going to Rudy's. That's where you live, Raj, in those big buildings over there? Yeah! Rudy's Barbecue! You know, as a Texan, I am offended at how I say it. Because not all Texans act that way. Anyway, we are Rudy's uh, Country Store and Barbecue. We're gonna get some tacos. I'm pretty sure that you guys are gonna appreciate the food montage that I'm about to go into right Breakfast, you always have to have like orange juice. Orange juice. Alright. If for no other reason, if for no other reason, come to Rudy's for these jalapenos. I'm gonna have to ask what jar they come out of or what can they come out of, what brand they are, because the way they pickle these, these are the best jalapenos I've ever had in my life. And I'm not hyping it up as I usually do with other stuff that I usually do with. This is legit the best jalapeno I've ever had in my life. So spicy, I'm not gonna take a bite out of it. That's how bad it is. Not bad, but that's how spicy it is. Delicious. <laughs> That's how spicy those things are. I had to stomp my feet to help. It didn't. Just got out of there. Listen, I, I, I'm not gonna come back for breakfast here that often because I don't wanna ruin the experience that I just had. And it's like I've always said, if, if you like something, do it. Don't do it all the time. Just do it every, every so often so you really enjoy it every single time that you do do it. In this case, probably like tomorrow or something, I'll be back. I am uh, currently making my way downtown, and I don't know the rest of the song, but did it in it in it. Doing a photo shoot because we're getting uh, headshots for some press releases that are upcoming. Um, so that's what's happening. Jay's the one that's getting shot right now. But we're gonna be back at the apartment, the headquarters, for the time, the outpost, not headquarters, the outpost. You guys wanna see where I slept last night? Real comfortably and cold, freezing, freezing cold? Right there. And since I don't have a screwdriver, since I don't have a screwdriver, I didn't even put my TV up. I just left it, no stand. Look, when you're a single man, <clears throat> rephrase that. When you're a married man living a single life, no, let me rephrase that. When you are, Jude, I'm sorry, this is coming out wrong. I'm not. When you are a married, non-single man living on his own for a couple of days, you just get lost without your wife. She does, well, she does everything for you already. Oh my goodness, the, all right. I'm gonna give you a little bit of story, okay? Just so you guys understand my tiny little bit of frustration, okay? And it's my fault, completely and utterly my fault. Nobody else's fault but my own. I went to Target over there. I don't know if you guys see that building, it's right down there. So I took an Uber there, obviously I don't have my car here yet. So I took an Uber there. I get there, I spend like 35 minutes in there. 
gathering all of this stuff. Well, you guys, okay, sorry. All of that, there's, there's a ton of stuff in there. I, I spent the entire time there getting all that stuff. I get to the counter, okay, I get to the register to pay, and there's a line behind me, obviously, and guess what? Since I have my freaking credit cards and stuff in there, in here, uh, and earlier today I took it, I took my phone out, which meant that I had to take my credit cards out. I forgot it. So I went all the way over there. I went all the way over back, back yonder. And then I had to come back, had to run upstairs, grab my cash, grab my stuff, and then head back here and now here I am. Literally something that would have taken me an hour to do it took me two hours because of my forgetfulness and I don't want to say stupidity because I'm not stupid and my dumbness. Okay, I'll, just, I'll dumb it down by saying dumbness, but <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna put up a TV. I'm gonna I'm not gonna put it up, I'm just gonna set it up. I'm gonna set up the TV there. I have another one that I have to set up. In this bedroom, which is super hot. There you go. I've been showering in here because this bathroom, this bathroom isn't as cold as the other one. And it's got like a waterfall effect to it. So TV here, TV there, TV living room, TV master bedroom. I had to, I don't have any tools at all. So I had to leave the TV just leaning over the wall, like some sort of, I don't want to insult myself, so I won't say it, but all right, this is where we have to unpack a couple of beds and put them in here. So let's get to work. Today is set up the basics so when Jude, my mom, and her mom get here and, and live, they can start setting it all up. I'm no longer upset, but I was fuming, howling, screaming at myself on the inside. So frustrating. I didn't know what I was gonna do, but we're good now. Okay, now that that's done, I'm breathing heavy because I was just carrying it. Now that that's done, we're gonna let it expand and we should be good. This room is done. All right, stage two or second bed. They don't look heavy, but gosh, those memory foams pack a punch. All right, I'm gonna lower these blinds because the sun's gonna start coming in here. It's gonna start heating up the plate and I don't need that sort of, I don't need that sort of beef. I'm not beefing with these schools like that. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep everything super, super friendly. You know, I was just thinking, I was thinking that uh, if, if the people next door could hear me, which they can't, uh, another thing that I'm not used to because I've never lived in an apartment, well, not since the condo in 2003 or whatever. Um, but I was thinking, they know that there's nobody else in here besides me. And they hear me talking, right? They hear me talking to something or someone, they probably think I'm on the phone, but they don't know that I'm on, that I have all of you. It is insane to me, right? Even as I stand here, that I am talking into this lens, okay? And then it is distributed to a gang of y'all. And makes me feel not alone in moments like these. In moments where I feel the most alone because I am out of my element, without my family, without any friends. I'm it's good to know that I hold you guys on my palm. I'm holding all of you right now. Look how strong I am. I haven't dropped any of y'all. You guys are still there. Anyway, I'm gonna get going. I gotta set up the, uh, the TV. I'm gonna skip you all the whole music and, and clinking and stuff as I put this together. Uh, but I'll give you guys an update after I'm done. Uh, this is the before, okay? And then we gotta run in here. Oh, oh, run, run, run. This isn't gonna change at all, so sorry about that. I'm gonna try not to touch this, this surface, because the camera's on there and it's right on the edge, and if I could show you like how close it was, you'd be, you'd be scared, because it's an expensive camera. But uh, I'm gonna make a quick sandwich, but I'm in the vlog right here, everybody. I'm gonna, let, let me tell you a little bit something. Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me grab my stuff. Um, 
Look, this is this is how I'm living. Like, this is how I'm living if, if I'm not with, with Jude. If Jude's not here to, to feed me, I go with the with the sandwiches. Obviously, we got some pepper jack cheese, some black forest ham, and some turkey ranch. Naturally smoked turkey breast. And of course, of course, I cannot, I cannot call myself a Mexican, a true Mexican, without one of the most important ingredients of any sandwich. And if you don't eat your sandwiches like this, you might want to give it a shot. The pickled jalapenos. I went far and wide looking for this. Far and wide. I'm kidding. I just went to Target. When I went to Target, that's when I purchased it. Anyway, uh, I'm going to make a sandwich. Um, I'll probably fast forward this part. Before you eat, remember to put everything away. There's, no, there's nothing more annoying than to eat a really, really good meal and then have to do dishes. I've even done this when I cook. When I cook, as soon as I'm done with one of the steps, I wash my dish because the last thing I want to do is want to eat a really, really good meal and then have to wash up the gang of pans and pots that I use in order to cook. Instead, I just eat my meal, wash my dish, go sit down and enjoy some video games for funs. Funs. I said fun. For fun's sake. Anyway, I'm going to eat the sandwich. I'm going to end the vlog right here. Everybody, thank you for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed the video, please do not leave without leaving a like now. Before I say goodbye, I do have to remind you that the vlogs for the next couple of days, maybe even week, are going to be super, super sporadic. Very, very sporadic um, because I have a lot of stuff to do. Okay, Jude, my mom, and my mother-in-law, along with Liv, come uh, down here tomorrow uh, to furnish a place. So it'll be fun. Now, having said that, and with that said, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, not hopefully. Yeah, hopefully, definitely. Yeah. Hopefully, I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. As usual and as per usual, at the same day. Time.